Okay. Hello guys, and this is me, Doompod, and I am back again for another pickups video. It's kinda dark on this side. No, this side. Which probably I uh, doesn't matter. I don't need lighting. It's always crap anyway. Um so yeah, another pickups. I actually got only one thing from this cup. But and I only went to one. But it was all right. Uh, it's not really with my retro video game stuff. No, I guess it is kind of possible to play retro video games on it. If that makes sense. But I actually got like a total of three, technically four things, and it was all for all the sum of two pound fifty, which isn't bad. So let's get straight into it. The first thing I got. It's a load of power books and accessories. So the first one I've got is a power book duo, 280C. Uh, now I believe this is one of the first color power books. Um, here we go. It's quite a small thing. Uh, this is actually the later of the two that I got. Uh, unfortunately, you just look there. The casing has come away a bit. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Uh, none of these have been tested, but for the price, I'm not really fast. Um, it doesn't have a power adapter, so and it's it's like a beast of a power adapter. It's 24 volts, which is quite a bizarre power adapter. So I don't think I'll have one lying about. But yeah. Uh, oh, and that has a colour monitor, so, yeah, non-colour games. <coughs> Next thing is a dock for that Mac, uh, and this, yeah, pretty much just a dock. It gives you extra ports, um, a dock. Again, no power adapter, obviously. Uh, a cable <laughs> to go with. A printer. So this will probably, when I get it up and running, be used with the, that MacBook, the one I just showed you, because it's a color printer, and the other one is actually black and white monitor. So there's no point in using a color printer with a black and white monitored Mac. So yeah, but yeah, this is a uh, a color Stylrite 2200 uh, or 2200, whatever you want to say. Uh, now this top part flips up, and there you go. It's just nice little portable printer. And last, but by no means least, in fact, the one I'm most excited about. Ooh. Ah, I lost my balance Is this lump a Mac Macintosh Power Book 180? This actually has a black and white monitor and the space. Uh, is slightly wonky, but apart from that, seems all okay. Uh, now these actually, it's quite common for the hinges here. Oh, it's a bit of a lump to break. Now the good thing about this is all the hinges are okay. I can't see any fractures or snaps, it opens and closes nicely. It seems all good. Uh, unfortunately the back, this port here, snapped off. That's quite common because uh, first it was quite a flimsy bit of plastic and it powered the, uh, sorry, it blocked the power button. So people would just like snap it off to actually get easy access to the power button, which is kind of stupid. But yeah, 
So I'm um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. It also has feet. This there. So the idea is you rotate these, and it will. There you go. Act like feet. Um, and yeah, as I said, this is a black and white monitor. It runs uh, on a 7.5 volt, which is much less than that. Uh, so I should be able to actually get this up and running. Oops, hit my desk there. Should actually be able to get this up and running. Uh, see what software it's got on there. See what version of Mac OS it's got on there. Probably expecting one of the seven series. It will either be 7.1, 7.5, one of them, or maybe 8. No, I don't think this will run 8 actually. That other one will run 8, but it will be slow as anything, so I hope it's not 8. Um, but yeah. I'll give you an update when I get all this powered on. Uh, may even do a video on it powering up and see how it goes. But yeah, all in all, quite a nice bundle, £2.50. Some classic Mac stuff that. I don't know, it's, it's a bit of a weird era. Uh, it's not quite really early. Uh, it's when they were starting to get into laptops and stuff like that. So yeah, it's an interesting lot. Hopefully I'll see what I can get on there. Uh, ooh, also it all works off floppies, so I'm going to have to get my USB floppy drive out. Uh, hopefully I can find some software which will let me uh, burn, burn, transfer, you know what I mean, uh, files, pardon me, in that uh, format, because it actually uses a proprietary format, which is kind of annoying. So I can't just use MS DOS floppy or fat floppies, just eh, fat floppies. But anyway, yep, so that's it, that's all I had to say. It's me, Doompod, and I am out. Ugh.